what is DJ my tech talk and today it's time to say goodbye to muddy soul plates because the Nike anti-clog boots have arrived at Unisport and in this video you and I are gonna take a look at what makes this boot and the soul plate technology so special but before we do that make sure to like the video go nuts in the comment section and if you haven't already subscribed what are you waiting for and with those words Let's anti-clog it up. Now, a lot of you guys might remember hearing about anti-clog after the Nike Innovation Summit back in March. But now it's time to really take over on the Spark Brilliance Pack. Well, um, three out of four of the Spark Brilliance Pack boots at least. The Chimbo Legend 6, the Hyper Venom Phantom 2, and the Magista Opera 2. But why does the world need anti-clog in the first place? Well, if you play on soft, muddy pitches, which I reckon a lot of you guys do, you're probably familiar with mud or grass or clumps of some unidentifiable stuff sticking to your plate. Apart from being annoying as f to clean, your boots might also feel more heavy and chunky if there's too much mud sticking under it. But worst of all, it actually might affect your performance in a bad way. Because imagine that there's a huge chunk of mud under your forefoot. That means that your studs won't be sticking out as much as they do on a clean plate, which may obviously affect your traction in the ground because they can't penetrate it as much. And that might lead to you slipping and falling over right when it matters. In other words, the weather and the pitch can really affect your performance in a bad way, with you being able to do absolutely nothing about it. And that's what Nike wanted to change with the anti-clog. So the deal with anti-clog is that it's basically an SG Pro sole plate with an outer layer of an adaptive polymer, which is hydrophilic. I know. Now that's basically super nerd scientist language for that when the sole plate becomes wet, the material gets lubricious so that mud won't stick to it. Now the plate itself isn't really that slippery, but once it gets in touch with water, the material reacts with the water to make sure that nothing, absolutely nothing, will stick to it, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. The brilliant thing is that soft grounds and mud contains water, so you won't have to pre-water your boots before every match for anti-clock to work. And that's because the anti-clock tech actively uses the moisture in the mud to make sure that said mud doesn't stick to the plate because it gets so lubricious. And because this is a chemical solution, it doesn't wear off over time, like some of the earlier techniques as water repellency or mechanical solutions Nike were working on. And you can say that Nike took water and turned it from the enemy of traction into the friend of traction. Now the whole technology is a bit difficult to show because Denmark isn't that muddy at the moment, so we're gonna make an experiment here. I brought the normal Chembo SG Pro and I brought up some homemade scientific looking mud. I hope it does the trick for you. But as you can see, mud, oh this is disgusting. Somehow, somehow it just sticks to the, to the sole plate of the normal Legend 6. Whereas on the anti-clock, sorry table, once it, get, it gets wet here, you see that it slides much easier and it just slides off. It doesn't really stick to it. You can see how lubricious it is. You just slide the mud around on the sole plate because of the water in the mud. And just to give you a close to real life example of how this works, I've clogged up the boots. As you can see, the standard chimbo here, it's not really like you can, you can just take it off. It actually takes a bit of force to just take it off the boot. Whereas with the anti-clog, it just, you know, it just slides off the boot. It doesn't really stick. You just take it off and you're done with it. And you take your water and your sole plate is as good as new. Imagine this being you covered in mud from head to toe, except for on your sole plate. Now that's flipping genius. But actually, it's been a while since I've been this excited about a new technology and I reckon that if Nike can really smoothen this out and make it the norm I'm gonna be a very happy camper and I reckon the anti-clock tech is gonna be really popular in those parts of the world where it rains all the time like in England for instance but I really really want to try out the anti-clock so rain bring it on but what about you guys do you have any thoughts questions or opinions Leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit the like button before you go as well. 
Now I'm also going to go, I'm going to go find a puddle of mud. With those words, I'm signing off. Here we are. Okay. So anti-clock. Uh -huh. I'm going to try this again. Make a mess. Don't try this at home, kids. Oops.